It's known as riding the dragon, but there are still many questions surrounding electroshock weapons. Tasers are a controversial tool that have revolutionized law enforcement here in the tri-state. But experts say they're not as reliable as you might think. Nine on your side's Jason Law has more on a new product that could improve police safety. Jason? Carol, the I-team began reporting on the questions surrounding tasers two years ago. There is no required system or standard in place to test tasers. And the company Taser International says results from their products can vary. Now, though, a new piece of equipment may help reduce the element of surprise. Civil rights attorney Al Gearhardstein says he supports police using tasers, but he has many concerns. I mean, we need to know the strength of the electricity going into the suspect. Gerhard Stein has filed lawsuits against police for their use of tasers, like in the 2011 death of UC student Everett Howard. They recommend measuring the whole waveform. Thursday, police from all over the tri-state were introduced to a $10,000 piece of equipment that promises to tell them if their taser is working right. Ken Stetham says the Axios will analyze specifics like the taser's peak current, its voltage, and pulses per second. What it will tell an officer and an agency is that these weapons are operating reliably, properly, and safely. That's the basics of what it is. I mean, former officer turned consultant Michael Leonesio says there are still many unknowns when it comes to electroshock weapons. This tool, he says, will arm police with knowledge. This is not going to solve all of law enforcement's problems. This is a step in the right direction. This is going to give law enforcement uh, the power of knowledge, uh, the ability to track weapons and track trends. So it's going to give a lot of power back to law enforcement in this, in, with this technology. It's not going to solve problems. Deaths aren't going to stop. Injuries aren't going to stop. The company behind the project, Aegis, is beginning a pilot program in November. Some police departments here in the tri-state may be the very first to test out this new equipment.